Welcome dear student on my channel. So today we'll see the experiment that is a separation of plant pigment by the paper chromatography for which the requirements are there. You require a chromatography chamber. So instead of the chamber, I have taken this test tube, which is having the cock on the top. Okay. So you have to close this. You have to fix it properly. Next to the chromatography chamber, you require a chromatography paper. So this is a chromatography paper which you have to cut like that with the arrow end. Okay, this paper is called as a Wattman's filter paper number one. Next to this filter paper, you require the pester and mortar. So pester and mortar just for the grinding the spinach leaf. Okay. Next to this, you require the capillary tube. So this capillary tubes are there. This tubes you have to use for what for getting this particular extract okay next to the capillary tube you require a muslin cloth so clean muslin cloth you have to take just to filter this whatever the uh, mixture is there next to this you require the suitable solvent system so for solvent system you require acetone you require the petroleum ether so petroleum ether and acetone this proportion you have to take the 90 is to 10 whatever the procedure is given in your practical book okay so next to this here you require the fresh spinach leaf so take three to four spinach leaf okay which are the fresh which are the clean and the dry one okay these are what the requirements are there along with this you require the mgcl2 also this mgcl2 which act as a buffer okay while the acetone is there which is a organic solvent so these are the requirements are there for the this experiment of the paper chromatography separation of the plant pigment by the paper chromatography now we'll start the procedure so first what we have to do you have to take this the petroleum ether as well as the acetone so petroleum ether 90 part and the 10 part of the acetone okay this you have to keep it uh, in the one particular tube or in the chromatography chamber and you have to close it properly this you have to keep it for the at least for the one hour okay and then one hour after one hour you have to use this okay for the as a chromatography chamber so this is already done one hour before now what we have to do we have to take the mortar and pestle okay in that we have to take the spinach leaf so i will take the two spinach leaf first so this is a one spinach leaf you have to remove the stalk so that it can be easily grind after that you have to pour a uh, acetone in this so little bit acetone so just now i said it is a organic solvent next to the acetone you have to take the mgcl2 so mgcl2 which is a which act as a buffer so pinch of the mgcl2 i will take it now i will grind this within the mortar and pestle so when we grind this what happened here the acetone is a organic solvent so in that all whatever the pigments are get dissolved just now i said mgcl2 which act as a buffer so after this grinding this what are the pigments are there in this in the leaf should get dissolved and that pigment only have to separate on the chromatography paper so spinach leaf is there instead of spinach leaf you can take the hibiscus leaf also it shows the presence of number of photosynthetic pigment that are chlorophyll a chlorophyll b carotene and the xanthophyll along with that number of other pigments are also there which gives the color to that particular leaf of the plant so this water the grinding is over now you can observe this so this way you have to grind and then now this will filter through the muslin cloth so i'll make the double fold and 
and this will just pour this whatever the filtrate is there we want very less this mixture only few drops we required for this so that's why i have taken only two spinach leaves now this you have to filter so whatever i got this whatever the extract is there this extract you have to use for the whatman paper now this whatman paper is there which is a cut it with the arrow in with the help of the capillary tube this is the extract what i got that i will just touch it on the this particular one in just approximately one or two cm above this whatever the in you have to make one mark with the pencil make the circle with the pencil and then whatever the extract we got that you have to just touch it touch on that or we have to load on that so here this what are the capillary tube is there according to the capillary action you already learned in the 11th standard how the the water travel up on the you know however the water travel in the plant body by the capillary action same the capillary action is there with the help of that here the extract will come up on the, in the capillary tube so here you can observe that this what is the extract we got in the capillary tube by the capillary action now this i will load on this filter paper approximately at the 2 cm okay above the end try to load it four to five times so that whatever the extract is there it will get concentrate so you can watch here so this now i said try to do it four to five times and then you have to allow it to dry little time so this way you have to take the dot approximately 1 or 2 cm above this end okay and then this you have to hang in the chromatography chamber so whatever the test tube i am having in that test tube the solvent is taken okay and now here i will put it inside and i will fix it with the cork so here the small what are the cut is there in this i'll fix this paper so this way it is a at fixed with the help of this what are the cork this paper i will put it in this test tube where the solvent is there so this i am putting in this test tube simply it should touch to the this solvent so you can observe that once it is touch slowly slowly the solvent will get absorbed and what are the pigment extract is there what are the extract of this the leaf is there which is there on that particular point so slowly it will get travel and it will separate all the four photosynthetic pigments okay so this i will uh, attach on one of the stand then afterward you can see so here you can watch clearly how this the solvent is traveling up slowly here the pigments which are get separated so this solvent is going up and up which is separating the pigments so after a few minutes i'll remove this paper and i will dry this so that you get the more clear idea 
So all the four photosynthetic pigments are there, which will get separate from this small dot. Four photosynthetic pigments are there, which are chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, carotene, and the xanthophyll, which will be at a different level. And this all pigments will show the four different colors. So this is what the result after few minutes. So this the solvent which is the traveling towards the top. So I will remove this paper and then I will dry. Then you get the more clear idea about these pigments. So on this paper you can watch here. Here it was whatever the initial dot was there, and this is about the yellowish green color chlorophyll B is there. Then bluish green color, which is of the chlorophyll A, is there. Then here yellow faint color is there, and here is the orange color is there. So first one that is the chlorophyll B, then the chlorophyll A, then here is the xanthophyll, and here is the carotene. So like that here, the four pigments are there which are get separated. Okay, so you can watch here. This is a yellowish green color. This is a bluish bluish green color. Here is something yellow color, and here we observe that little bit orange color. Okay, so. Thank you. If you like my channel, subscribe and share this video with your friends. After this, now after this, we'll see about the question answers of this practical. Now we'll see the question answers of this experiment. Okay, what is the composition of solvent used for separation of photosynthetic pigment? So two solvent we have taken. We have taken the petroleum ether as well as the acetone, and this proportion is there, which is a 19 is to 10. It that means the 9 is to 1 proportion. So composition of the solvent used for separation of the photosynthetic pigment is petroleum ether and the acetone in 90 is to 10. That is 9 is to 1 proportion. Next question is there. Which pigment reaches to the top of the chromatography paper? So after observing what we observe here, at the top we got the orange color. So pigment carotene reaches to the top of the chromatography paper, which is of the orange color. So here main answer is there. That is a pigment carotene. Which photosynthetic pigment is bluish green in color? So we have already observed that on that paper different colors are there. Different colors indicate the different pigments. So pigment chlorophyll A is there, which is of bluish green color on that strip. Next, why acetone and MgCl2 are used while grinding the leaf? So we have grind the leaf, and in that we have used the acetone as well as we have used the MgCl2. So what is the function of acetone? Acetone is an organic solvent. Okay, so that's why what are the organic things are there which are present in the leaf? It get dissolved, which dissolves the both polar and non-polar substances which are present in that. leaf while mgcl2 mgcl2 which act as a buffer which is used to remove the water from the leaves okay so these are what the two functions are there of each one acetone having one function and the mgcl2 having the other function okay so this what are the question answers along with the experiment we have discussed in this particular video so if you like my video just subscribe and share with your friends so that everyone will get the benefit of the same thank you